Welcome. I'm Scott St. Ange, webmaster for the National Center for Telecommunications Technologies. You can find us online at www.nctt.org. This is a short tutorial on how to subscribe to an RSS feed. RSS, RDF Site Summary, is more commonly referred to as really simple syndication. Once you subscribe to a feed, such as your favorite blog or news headlines, the content is automatically updated in your reader, also known as an aggregator, when you are connected to the internet. You can subscribe to as many feeds as you like, collecting them all in one easy to browse reader application instead of going to each website individually. If you have an Apple Macintosh computer, you can even set up your favorite RSS feed as your screensaver. Websites today are using RSS feeds as a way to keep users up to date about new content, especially blog and news sites. So many sites use RSS that all of the current web browsers have RSS readers built right in. RSS feeds are commonly used in blogs, so let's start there. In Internet Explorer 7, I'm going to open up ictcenter.blogspot.com. This is the address of the Information and Communications Technologies blog by Gordon Snyder, director of NCTT. On the Internet Explorer 7 toolbar, the orange feeds icon will light up when there is an RSS feed associated with the page you are viewing. It is gray when there is no available feed. When I click on the button, the first thing you notice is the yellow box at the top of the page. This box explains that you are on a page with a feed and gives you a link to subscribe to that feed. That link will subscribe to the feed in Internet Explorer. Please note the explanation in the dialog box. When you subscribe to a feed, it is automatically added to the favorite center and kept up to date. Click subscribe to finish the subscription process. After you choose the subscribe link, there is a new link in the yellow box at the top that allows you to view my feeds. Clicking this link will bring you to your favorite center in Internet Explorer and list all of the feeds that you have subscribed to. This is the same as clicking the favorite center icon, the star in the upper left of Internet Explorer, or going over to the tools menu on the upper right. I'm going to tools, toolbars, feeds. Every time you come back to your feed list, the content will be up to date because you've subscribed to it. I'm going to close my feed and go back. If you do not have a feed button on your browser toolbar, don't worry. Under the title of the blog, there is a link, subscribe to this blog. Just about all blogs will have a link like this, but it will not always be in the same place. Generally, it will be either at the top or all the way at the bottom of the page. By following this link, the subscription process is the same as I just described for when we use the orange RSS feed button. There are other aggregators you can use besides Internet Explorer, including most other web browsers such as Firefox or Opera. My Yahoo and Google Reader are two very popular and easy to use readers that can be accessed from anywhere online. Each does require a free account with the service, which can be set up in a matter of minutes. To add a feed to Google Reader, log in with your Google account at www.google.com slash reader. On the left, note the Add Subscription link. From there, you can enter a feed address or search for a feed. The feed address is the address of the page we were on when I subscribed to Gordon's blog with Internet Explorer. Let's go back to that page and copy the address so we can paste it into the Google Reader. Remember that if you don't have the address to the feed, Google will let you search directly from the Add Feed dialog. So I'm going to go back over to Gordon's blog's main page. 
and I'm going to follow the link from the RSS feed button up at the top, which will bring us to the page that we need to associate with Google Reader. And I will just copy the address in the address bar above. Go back to Google Reader and paste that address in and click add. Now that we can we can see Gordon's blog is listed and we have some of the contents right in our Google Reader available to us. Now every time you come back to Google Reader and sign in you will have all of your updated feeds in one easy to read place for free and you can add as many feeds as you like. These feeds will also appear in your iGoogle custom start page if you have one of those set up. Thank you very much and enjoy your feeds.